What's up guys? Welcome to the Mr. AK74 channel. Today we're going to be covering the alternate seat qualification. The Army FM or Field Manual 3-22.9 revised of May of 2016 as the Training Circular 3-22.9 but for all intents and purposes it's the same manual. So let's get started. So the basic standards have not changed for the standard qualification as far as the three shooting positions. You have the prone supported, the prone unsupported, and the kneeling. Prone supported, you have two minutes to engage your targets totaling 20 rounds of ammunition. The prone unsupported, you have 60 seconds to engage 10 targets with 10 rounds of ammunition. And the kneeling position, you have 60 seconds to engage 10 targets with 10 rounds of ammunition. The different marksmanship badges a soldier can earn in the Army, whatever component you are, reserve, National Guard, active component, 25 and below on the Alt-C is unqualified, whereas in 23 would be the qualification for the standard pop-up targets or the known distance targets. 26 to 32 is going to be your marksman, 33 to 37 is going to be your sharpshooter, and 38 to 40 is going to be your expert. So a little bit of history on the alternate seat qualification at 25 meters. The basic silhouette targets have not changed over the years ever since the days of the M16A1. The paper consists of a 50 meter target, three 100 meter targets, two 150 meter targets, a 250 meter target, a 300 meter target, and two 200 meter targets. When on the firing line, remember to take all commands from the tower and only lock and load when you are told to do so. Lock and load, After completing your battle site zero with 18 rounds of ammunition, make sure you lock and clear the weapon if you still have rounds remaining in the magazine as seen here. Okay, let's talk about weapon system type and what you will utilize your sights and how to set up your iron sights when you do the Alt-C qualification. So for all your M16, A2, and A3 and A4 series with the carry handle, whether it be the 6 thirds or the 8 thirds, you will zero at 6 thirds or 8 thirds plus one and you will leave it and go on to qualify with the carry handle rear sight aperture, the turret, on the six thirds or eight thirds plus one setting. Setting up your iron sights on M4 and M16A4 series backup iron sights normally outfitted with the MA Tech backup iron sight. For the M16A4, you will rotate your rear elevation turret adjustment to the little hash mark in between the three and the 400 meter indexing lines and for the M4 you will leave it on the 300 meter indexing line on the rear elevation turret and you will go to qualify in these configurations with the Alt-C however for the M16A4 if you were to go to the pop-up or the known distance targets you would rotate the indexing line turret up to the 300 meter position before doing so, but for the M4, you would just leave it at the 300 meter position. You go, Sangre? Yep, good All to right. go. The key to success on the qualification range is up to you, the individual fire. However, there can be also utilize other aspects of marksmanship and teaching, coaching, and instructing. Preliminary marksmanship instruction is essential as shooting is a degradable skill. Depending on what kind of unit you are in, if you are in an infantry unit, which you are going to be constantly going to the range and shooting many different types of weapons and ammunition all the time, your skill set is not going to degrade as much as someone who is, say, a mechanic.
So the alternate C course of fire is actually pretty simple. So in your first firing stance being the prone supported, you will have 20 rounds of ammunition to put two rounds in each target, 10 targets total. The next position, the prone unsupported, you will have 10 rounds of ammunition and you will put one round in each target. And then the final magazine of 10 rounds, totaling 40 rounds, will be the kneeling position. You will put one round in each 150 meter target two rounds in each 100 meter target and two rounds in the 50 meter target for your last magazine. <laughs> now as far as a final caveat to experience many many hundreds of times going to different qualifications both day and night. Now it's always good to try to pace yourself. So as far as you becoming more proficient, getting more rounds downrange and more rounds on target in a faster amount of time, this is the advantage with the Alt-C as you can do it as fast as you can because you don't necessarily have to wait for the targets to pop up as long as you know the firing sequence and the firing order. Normally your lane safeties will coach you and your range safety officer will as well and will identify those targets. They will brief you as far as what your course of fire is going to be so that every fire is aware of what his or her targets are going to be engaged for whatever course of fire they're engaged in the three different positions Qualification is not a rush, but it's always a competition against yourself to be a more proficient and better shooter. Depending on your individual rifle or carbine, the way it's set up, it's up to you, the individual fire, to set it up how you would like and see fit. However best it works for you, whether that be slings, different adjustments of the stock, different equipment that will help you engage targets more proficiently and accurately whether your unit SOP allows the use of an magnified or unmagnified optic for the qualification normally you will become a better shooter by learning on backup iron sights or iron sights in general Okay, now some tips from the pros. In no way, shape, or form am I giving you any legal sort of advice as it can be subject to the Uniform Code of Military Justice, justice. reprimand and or made to be requalified. So, the first 20 round magazine prone supported on the Alt-C, you can put three rounds in the 250, three rounds in the 300 meter target, three rounds in each 200 meter target, and then four rounds in each 150 meter target to total 20 rounds. As you have more stability, and those are the smaller size silhouette targets. And then your next magazine, being the 10 rounds prone unsupported, you can put five rounds in each 100 meter target, and leave 100 meter target blank. So 200 meter targets have five rounds each. And then for your final 10 rounds kneeling, you can put five rounds in the 50 meter target and then five rounds in the remaining 100 meter target. <laughs> this is kind of the let's not talk about it qualification to get your promotion points up for a higher score. <laughs> 